What's up guys, uh, I'm doing a beer review for you. If you see here some background noise, I can't really control that. But I am visiting my parents and um, I didn't do the white bond, so it's kind of yellowish right now. <laughs> the background, which actually that's a white wall, I think. But the, ye you know, the yellow light that makes it look like that. But uh, beer reviews are more easier to do when I'm on vacation. And I still want to do videos. I, I got a couple of few uh, beer reviews that it needs a little editing, but this one could be really quick. So um, it's a local brewery here in um, New York, uh, Rochester, New York to be exact. And they're called Four, uh, Four in Hand. And this is their IPA, as you can see here. Uh, this is how they're, uh, you know, their logo. They're going for that whole card. Um, you know the cards and stuff, maybe poker or so, or 21 craft ale. It says here, and uh, it's a 6.3 alcohol per volume. And then this is the first beer I've ever uh, will try from. This is the first beer I ever tried from. What, what the fuck am I saying? I mean, this is the first beer I've ever seen of theirs. So I want to try it out because I love IPAs, and um, this is my second take. You know, because uh, the first take kind of went wrong because there was too much background noise. Hopefully, this time around there isn't. Um, so I'm gonna crack this open. Uh, it's on, on Beer Advocate. It's getting uh, decent reviews. Uh, actually, a 7.6, I believe, and. Um, I left this in the freezer so it could really get cold because this is about six degrees in my in my parents' um, you know pad and stuff. I'm using the uh, <laughs> New York terminology right now. I'm a little tipsy to be honest with you guys, but uh, the first take, the beer was a lot warmer, and I still enjoyed it. But uh, let's see how the second take. Um, Now, as you see, the color is like apple juice or um, a brownish, you know, brownish uh, ale. From what I noticed, IPAs that are brewed here in the East Coast are sweeter, and you know, IPAs that are brewed in the West Coast are more bitter. So I expect this to be a sweeter IPA. Uh, it doesn't smell like typically like an IPA that I would smell from the, from the West Coast, which I'm more used to. But it does have a slight smell to, to a typical IPA, but then it also has a brown ale smell to it. Um, you know, sugar, there is some citrus uh, or grapefruit uh, smell to it. Uh, kind of a leafy green smell to it as well if that makes sense I will leave the link to their website which is for in hand I don't know if I said it wrong earlier excuse me if I did but um, so I'll take a swig and see this and this is the only cup I could find in my parents house Pepsi Cola cross promotion Now, did I have it a lot colder than when I originally t uh, did my first take? I can taste the bitterness way more now, but nowhere near the bitterness you would get used to when you're drinking uh, West Coast IPAs, which have a more pinier, more you know bitter taste to it. This one has a more sweeter. It uh, it tastes like um, some sh some sweet. Um, kind of like Laguna if you ever heard Laguna's IPA I believe that's how you pronounce it I've had theirs and they're they're more they're a west coast I believe they're a west coast brewery but they, they have some east coast IPA type of beer so uh, definitely has that uh, slight kick to it not very strong let me take off my glasses because I don't like the glare. And I know I need a haircut. And um, it's 
doesn't have much of a head, but when I poured it the first time, it did have a bigger head. Uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. It, it's it's a decent beer. You don't feel the 6.3, which is not that high, but you know it, it's it's a decent um, alcohol per volume, and uh, I'm 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 really uh, liking it. So I, I highly recommend it. I paid. Eight ninety nine at Whole Foods here in um, Union Square, New York. There's also one, at, excuse me, on um, Brewery, which is, has a bigger selection. Check your Whole Foods; they have very good selection of beer. I mean, Whole Foods, at least in New York and even in California, have a really good selection of beer. Also, Trader Joe's. Don't forget to uh, look for Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's, they have some um, pretty good beer as well. Uh, what else? You know, some local um, bars, I mean not local bars, but local stores also have very good selection um, in California, here in, in, in New York as well. So, you know, every time I, I visit New York, I have to have a local beer because it's very hard to get local beers in in, uh, in LA. Of course, it's easier to get LA uh, or Cap California beers there. So you know you have to take advantage. So uh, yeah, I recommend this beer. Definitely pick it up if you see it here in New York or even in the West Coast. Uh, check them out. Uh, like I said, I have I will leave the link for their website. Uh, Beer Advocate is giving it a same six point uh, seven point six, I believe, um, or it could be I don't know their rating system, but I know it's around the sevens. And I'm probably gonna give it the same. I'm gonna give it a seven as well. Not that they're they're um, you know swaying my vote or whatever. I just feel that I'm more used to the West Coast IPAs. Those are the the West Coast IPAs are the ones I like the best because they have that bitterness that I don't know for some reason I every time I think about an IPA I, I think about bitterness and that's this beer it has you know it has a decent bitter but it's not as bitter so um but when it's colder yeah it does have a drier taste to it as it goes down but it definitely has a sweet, uh, like apple juice, you know, type of uh, taste to it. So it's it's really drying beer, but it's it's really good if you like the the IPAs. So uh, yeah, um, I guess that's it. I don't want to make this beer review too long. Hope you enjoy it. Definitely rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.